Hello, I'm Charlotte Magpie Mama, and welcome to my channel. So today, I'm just showing you the before pictures for our room makeover. Now, if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that I started doing this quite a long time ago now. It was a room that was absolutely full of stuff. And I'm just trying to get it ready for my eldest daughter. So I'll just show you a little bit round. It's of the attic, that's why I'm like, oh, go breathe, go breathe. But look, so, at the moment, this is the room. I keep trying to clear it, but then everyone keeps trying to have discos in it. Hence this setup over here. Looks a bit grim at the moment. But yes, this is going to be my eldest daughter's room. At the moment, she's in a small room downstairs. Uh, she'll probably still sleep in that small room because her older brother's upstairs as well. And it's quite noisy at night. But it'd be really nice for us to have a space of her own just to put her stuff. So we just want to make it quite nice. So we've painted it all white, as you can see. And unfortunately, though, we've got a mystery area. I don't know if... You know what a mystery area is? But it's one of those areas that you paint white and then a day later it has a weird kind of colour on it. So you can see this. So I don't know if it's some kind of damp or what, I'm not really sure. But because I like to get things done and I'm a little bit of a bodger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nice big wall hanging and I'm just going to put it over the top. Because no matter how many times I paint it, it seems to go like that again and again. And I don't think it's serious enough to actually have it worked on the roof at the moment. So we're just going to put a wall hanging over it. I can't see it. It's not there. So we've got um, a bed ordered. It's a second-hand bed. It's from I it's an Ikea one that I'd looked at and I thought, oh, that's brilliant. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just have a quick look on Facebook, see if there's anyone selling one. Turns out one of my Facebook friends is selling it. So brilliant. Perfect. Made for us. Uh, so my husband's picking that up tomorrow. And then he's going to build it which um, is quite an adventure in itself, my husband building beds. But yeah, so next time I show you it, hopefully we'll be a little bit further along on the project. So, here is the grand reveal. personalised so it's just the basic setup but I thought you'd like to have a little look at that now we've got this bed here uh, we've got it second hand and it's absolutely brilliant so this is an Ikea bed um, and it just needs a little bit of touching up but you know it's such a great bed because it's got you can see it's got the ladder there and it's got a wardrobe here she's just started to put her stuff in it got shelves here, got these new boxes here, these are from Hobbycraft, £2 each, gorgeous aren't they? Got a little new notebook for the room as well. And then this is her desk, here, so she's got a few bits that need touching up for the bed but you know it was £95 and normally this bed in Ikea I think it's at least £300 so you know really pleased, really great deal. It was a local family got it from. Now it's just to pass the good stuff around to everybody. Uh, she's, Lucy's already set herself up some lights there. I've still got to get some new bedding. She's got her um, ponies found its way here and a dragon. She loves dragons. And we've got this unit here. And this is one that her brother had and I didn't realise, but there's loads of holes in it. So she's jazzed it up here with this gorgeous scar. And this is a big wall hanging. And that's from my business, so she's gonna be we're gonna be hanging that up on the wall when I can work out how to actually fix it without it falling down. So that'll go up and that'll look really bright and nice and really good. And she just popped a few of her little bits and bobs. Nice bit of rose gold stuff. I love this myself. And then some really nice kind of baskets. These are baskets that we pick up when we go on our holiday to France every year. I'm a bit obsessed with these baskets. I buy some every year, I'll be buying them again this year. I've got another one there. And another one there, and then there. So she's still got to fill the room up, you know, with all the bits and bobs, but just a little starter. And then here's her lovely dressing table. This just needs a little bit of painting up, which has popped her stuff on it, so it's looking nice. Got some 
fairy lights there because everybody needs fairy lights and then we're just kind of using this desk here as well this is one that my friend kind of repurposed for us a long time ago so it's quite jazzy and then she's got this gorgeous rug here don't know if you can see that so yeah so it's starting to look pretty nice I quite like it for my bedroom because I really like the kind of effect of the white and then they're just kind of pops of colour. The room does really need a new carpet but for now a nice rug and I said oh she's put this up on her um, skylight as well so that looks really nice with all the stars and everything. So yeah I think this is looking like a nice room. So there you go hope you liked that. One thing I do need to add about our room to ourselves. It's never going to look perfect because that's just not not really how we are. So there, yeah, so I hope you liked that. And yeah, and I hope it's kind of shows you that, you know, it's okay to get secondhand stuff because it still looks good and it still works really well. And you just need to get a few kind of, get a nice white room and they just add a few pops of colour and it just you know, jazzes it up and makes it a bit interesting. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.